Hey everyone, Mark and Joey here on a Tuesday morning. Beautiful day here in Ontario. Little Toronto Raptors and uh, the Warriors. What a game, right down to the last second. Joey, we predicted this was going to happen. Um, they did have a chance to win it. Actually, your prediction afterwards was Lowry on a three-point shot to win the championship. Was, I'm close. thinking as it's going down it there, they go, oh my God, you like it not just hit the win, but hit that. And But we both had picked the Warriors to win last night's game, go back to six. It was ridiculous to really assume that the Warriors were going to go down in five. Uh, it's too good of a, a, a basketball team. Uh, but there were some factors last night were, that were amazing for us. Durant, we've talked about in another segment of the show, so we won't go through that anymore. But uh, the back and forth, uh, the comeback by us, then the comeback by them, then tied and one point down going to that last rush down the court. It was a phenomenal game, at least. Yeah, it was uh, It was a great game, obviously, and, and down to the last point. And I said I wanted to see a tight game. I was hoping we'd come on the better end of it, though, but... I had Kyle Lowry with the ball in his hand, shoot three-pointer. Unfortunately, it was blocked by Draymond Green a little bit, I guess, tipped, uh, he said. So, we didn't get it done, but, uh, you know, that's why you have a 3-1 lead. You get to go back to Golden State and, and play game and six. Worst and worst, come back here. I mean, you, I mean, that's why, like you say, you build that lead up. Yeah, you don't want to, but at worst case scenario, you can do that. And you can come back here and try to win a game seven to get your first NBA title. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very likely, to be honest with you, game six in Oakland there, but... Um, you know, it was it was a tough game last night. Nothing was really flowing well for Toronto. Um, obviously, there were some moments in the game that kind of slowed the game down, changed emotions of, of players and stuff. Um, I think, uh, you know, there was some decision-making that we don't agree with. Uh, at the end of the day, though, I thought Kawhi was going to take us to the promised land. He had a great yeah. run there uh, near the end of the Ten game. Ten points himself. Ten points himself. <laughs> Ten went, run. Yeah. Get back in the lead. And then we gave up a six-point lead, and then we're all tied, and we give up more points, and then we get them back. It well, was a great finish. I'd say Clay Thompson might be the the clutch shooter. I'll tell you. Jeez, uh, I mean, I give. I mean, Steph Curry, uh, Steph Curry has to uh, uh, dribble the ball, yeah. so he doesn't really get these shots like Clay Thompson does. But he never misses Clay Thompson. Seems like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, he never misses, and he's always like he's like you said. It, it's a little different because Steph Curry has to do layups, he has to shoot it, he has to pass it. Yeah. He's a point guard. But Clay Thompson, like I said, he just gets open and he just makes everything in, especially the threes. Like it was almost like uh, you know sixty or seventy percent of the threes, which are huge, obviously on the point side. But let's go to the part of the game. You know, there's a lot of things that happen. The Durant emotion that's starting, then the Durant injury, where emotion uh, things during the game and momentum things, and and then we got close to the end and we're back up there. We're tied. The Lowry unfortunately made two fundamental mistakes there. And one of them, unfortunately, that last shot has plagued him as long as he's been with our team. We have lost probably three playoff series with him making the last shot. Um, unfortunately, he just doesn't have the Michael Jordan marquee or the Leonard marquee. He's just struggled putting that last shot down that would win a series or a game for us. We've seen it over the years. Happened again last night. I have no idea why he stepped out to the three-point line and why we, had, we took a three-point shot. Why are we not driving the net? Why are we not taking a foul so we can get... You know, we, we got one of the best defenses in the league, man. You don't wait till the last second. You get down there, get a bucket, and then play defense, in my mind. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, the biggest decision was, in my mind, was Nick Nurse not calling a timeout. Um, he had a timeout remaining, yeah. and, and, you, and you get the ball, and you're down by one point. You're planning this. Um, after a turnover by uh, DeMarcus Cousins, yeah. um, you could have easily called a timeout. Yeah. I don't really understand. If you didn't call a timeout, if you call a timeout, you get to inbound it, and you get to set up something you want. Um, they looked a little frantic. I don't think they knew who who exactly should have the yeah. ball. Um, who should have the ball is easy. Your best player. You give it to Leonard. He drives the net. He takes a foul. He couldn't, though. Two shots. No, no. Boom, if you watch the play, he couldn't. He was double teamed as soon as he got the ball. As soon as he took a step forward to drive the lane, Iguodal pulled right up. He had to pass it. He had to move it. I just didn't agree with where they moved it. I would have tossed it down low. To Mark Gasol, tries to seven footer to yeah. hit a hook shot or something, man. Like, come on, um, you know that's his job. Like a little hook shot, a little little fade away, maybe a little uh, pull up, uh, whatever runner. Uh, but something down low with Gasol, I would have taken those odds any day over what we yeah. end up getting. Um, Kyle, I don't necessarily blame for the shot because you don't know how good it would have been if it wasn't tipped. It might have gone in for all we know. Uh, but it's still, it's still a shot he's, that he's your, well, he's your smallest guy. It was really unnecessary yeah. to have him have the ball. Um, he had to do a three point because Van Fleet couldn't have passed it to where he was. He had to move back so Van Fleet could pass it. Uh, but that's why I just would I would have got it down low to Gasol. I know you want to put it in the hands of uh, your shooters and obviously start off with Kawhi. But once Kawhi couldn't get to the net, I would have put it Gasol. He could have drew a foul, made the bucket, something along those lines. 
Biggest thing, though, is if he missed, he could have got the rebound. Um, but we didn't really take any of those chances. We didn't take timeouts. We didn't set anything up. We waited. We put Kawhi under all this pressure. He had nowhere to go because they knew he was going to have the ball. And at the end of the day, you lose for it. We actually called the timeout at the very wrong time. Well, We're on a big run. Yeah. Kawhi's made 10 in a row. They missed down our end. We're going back there end. And Lowry calls a timeout for some reason when yeah. we had all the momentum. Yeah, he called a timeout because he didn't feel like anyone knew what was really going on. Um, he wanted to Here's what was going on. Leonard scored 10 points in a row. That's what was going on. We're we're just bulldozing these guys, and you, and you give them a time to recoup. I agree with you. I, mean, I agree with you, but they were arguing over something. Uh, I think it was whoever who was supposed to have the ball. So I think uh, he called a timeout, which was obviously a bad momentum killer. Um, but, yeah, you know, he did it because um, Kawhi won the ball. For some reason, he didn't want to give Kawhi the ball. And, and uh, I don't know, it was all a mess uh, right there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it probably cost us the game as far as we're concerned. Oh, yeah. That time out ruined the momentum they of the came game. Back. Golden State comes right out, has a 9-0 run, and, um, you know, basically they didn't even have to use their own timeout. So, at the end of the day, you lose to some great shots at the end of the day. I mean, Steph Curry made some unbelievable threes. Give me that one three Steph Curry did on the run. Yeah, oh. He's fading turning. to his right, <laughs> yeah. and, he's, and, like, he's turning, and, like, it's unbelievable shot what Steph Curry made. And that was actually to put him in the lead yeah. by three. And then Clay Thompson hit another dagger. And, um, you know, so I give them credit. But we did lose uh, at least, like, six, six, eight points just ourselves by calling the timeout, not allowing the momentum to keep going. Then by the last play, it was horribly designed. Um, I think it was wrong placements of timeouts. It was uh, confusion. It was... It was, you know, uh, someone not they taking control of the game. I just felt like yeah. it, it looked like a team that had won an NBA title there at the end. And unfortunately, we, we fall short uh, by one point. Um, otherwise, it would, have been a, it would have been a tremendous victory if it was on the tail end of a Kawhi run there. Yeah, I mean, really cool. and the other thing, too, always for me is get to the lead. Like, this last second shot, so they don't have a chance to come back. If you don't make it, it's over, which is exactly what happened. But if you've gone down, they had what, 15, 16 seconds? We had a lot of time. To I think get they, down had, there, they, score they had 10 seconds. And play defense. Yeah, like, they, they had 10 that's seconds. That's what we should have done. Or maybe 15 seconds, like yeah. 10, 15 seconds. We had lots of time to get lots down, get our two, and then what? do what we're best at. We're the best defense in the league, and certainly in the playoffs. So why not us defend that last shot? If they make it, they make it. But we got a, a chance at the championship here. Let's get the points. Let's get in the lead and let's deal with it from there. Instead, we go down for this last second shot to not to try and not have them have a, get a chance back, and then we miss it. Then it's over. Like I don't get that. I really don't understand. Yeah, that. I mean it was. I mean it was a mistake. Obviously, all the way around. It's not hard to notice that it was just. Uh, it was a mess. It was like I said. It was. It was looked like it was players a who did, yeah, yeah, didn't know panic. what to do. And unfortunately, the only people who have been in that position was Kawhi. And Gasol, and they didn't get Gasol the ball. They put it in Fleet. Yeah. He looked panicked. He just wanted to give it back to Kawhi. Kawhi wasn't open. Yeah. Um, Nobody wanted the ball, it seemed. I think Kawhi should, like, could have drove, but then as soon as he did, when I watched the replay, Iggy Dahl pulled up right in front of me. He had nowhere to go. Then, um, but what has happened to us in the whole playoffs? Then you keep going and you get a foul. Like, no, you but get, you couldn't. He, he's not gonna get, they're not going to give Kawhi two, Leonard an offensive foul. Yeah, well, there's that two point players the like this, so it's not even a run. He wasn't even running yet, so that's the problem. He, they approached him right at the three-point line, so he wasn't even started, so you can't get them on a defensive block because he had no momentum. You, If anything, you could have uh, lost the ball. So I don't blame Kawhi. I'm, although I might have done, if you're Kawhi Leonard, just stand behind the three-point line. If you're going to end up having Lowry take a three, you might as well stand there for 15 seconds and pull up and take a three yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, like yeah. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't have doubled you. They doubled you as soon as you took a step because they felt like you were going to drive, which you would have done. They made, made a three-point line. But otherwise, you could just been one-on-one. -on -one, I think it was with Thompson. And, and just pull up at the end, like yeah. Damian Lillard or, or something. Shooter, if yeah. that's what, if, if you have no set plan and you don't think you can get it down low because of their defense, I would rather you then, yeah, I'd rather you just stand there, 14 Dribble, seconds, yeah. one second to go, just pull up yourself and take your chances. Yeah. Like, there's no Especially need to... Especially been hot in the fourth quarter. You've been hot in the fourth quarter, but also, there's no such thing as a deep three right now. You're two feet behind the three. You can yeah. make those. You just made a couple, actually, in that run exactly. you had. I would have rather him not cause any chaos whatsoever, not yeah. drive the net at all, and just stand there and pull up for a three. I think you're, the percentage would be in your favor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anyway, colossal mess at the Too end bad. of a championship. We could have won. A uh, little bit nervous now, but we still shouldn't be. Uh, two games we've got to win one, and nobody should ask for that better. It's, I would have been a, a, amazed and thankful, so we're going to take it. <laughs>